St. Lawrence River Seaway was opened to navigation in 1959. Seven locks were built in the Montreal Lake Ontario section of the seaway. Five Canadian locks and two US locks, which raise vessels 75 meters above sea level. During navigation season, more than 2,000 pleasure boats of all kinds transit in the seaway. The minimum length for boats required is 6 meters and a minimum weight of 900 kilos, or 19.6 feet and 1,984 pounds respectively. Because the seaway was built for large cargo vessels, small pleasure craft often have to wait for large commercial vessels to pass through the locks before them. It is prohibited for any vessel to transit unless it is propelled by an adequate driving force. Boarders are also reminded that it is forbidden to sail in the canal or a lock of the seaway. When you get close to the lock, you have to moor at a pleasure boater's dock in order to report your presence and your intention to pass through using the telephone system. If there is no more space available at dock, remain at a safe distance from the entrance of the lock and commercial transport vessels. They produce a lot of steam. Note that if you are already at dock, you can offer a colleague sailor to come tie his boat along yours. Courtesy between boarders is always regarded. The telephone and payment system are located at the top of the bridge connected to the dock. It is important when possible to announce your boat and also to refer to which side you want to run, either upstream or downstream. Okay, so what we have here is a automated uh, payment system that works with credit cards. This system is uh, similar to those found in parking lots and are very easy to use. If your intention is to go through several locks in the same day, it is always possible to buy tickets in advance. Do remember that it is also possible to pay your passage in cash. Now when you arrive at the pleasure boat dock, use the telephone to announce your intention to go through the lock and the lock personnel should give you instructions and the average time of waiting. Oui, bonjour. Uh, pour un éclusage, uh, mer et monde, pour un éclusage, dis je, je suis du côté aval. Alors, uh, pour un passage simple, s'il vous plaît. Merci. When the lock master gives the signal and the lights are green, you need to proceed into the lock. In order to protect your boat rubbing against a concrete wall, the installation of floating fenders is required. Keep an eye on the lock personnel that directs traffic inside the lock. The captain on board each boat shall nominate two teammates to receive the lines distributed by the personnel. In Canadian locks, the personnel will pass long lines to the boat of the first row. During locking, the lines should always be checked at end, released or pulled to maintain the boat in the axis of the lock. All pleasure craft fitted with a VHF ASN radio and transiting in the Montreal Lake Ontario should not use radio frequencies of the seaway. In case of an emergency use channel 16. It is essential that in any occasion the official radio telephony rules be faithfully observed. 
For obvious security reasons, wearing a VFI is required for all occupants of a boat transiting in the lock or its approaches. It is also important to remember that it is strictly forbidden to swim in the surroundings of the locks. The phenomenon of suction created by commercial transport vessels could be proved to be disastrous. locking at shoulder to another boater. The usual order of entry is as follow. Motor boats first, the largest to the smallest, followed by sailboats, also from the largest to the smallest. We will now look at a shoulder pattern with two boats. It is likely that during the peak boating season they could be up to four boats shoulder to shoulder in the same row. In this case the last boat will keep its engine running in order to maintain all boats in the axis of the lock. The lock personnel will throw long lines to the boats of the first rank. Boaters of the second, third and fourth rows will have to tie to each other with their own lines. During locking, the line should always be checked at end, released or pulled to maintain the vessels in position. In the Montreal Lake, Ontario, at least two people are required on board for upbound or descendant transits. When the order to go is given out, slowly release your lines and leave the lock at a moderate speed. Do not forget to consult the Pleasure Craft Boats Guide. This publication is free and available at the Seaway website at www.greatlakes-seaway.com.